Hi, this is Matt from Can I Rank, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use Can I Rank to determine which keywords to target with a new page on your website. So, uh, our example site for this is going to be yogadvds.net, it's a simple uh, DVD review blog, and uh, we want to add a new page talking something about uh, yoga for seniors. See, we have these little roundup pages, and we want to make a new one about uh, yoga DVDs for seniors. So I go back to Ken I Rank here and the first thing I'm going to do is choose new content as the report type. That's because we haven't built a page for this yet and we want to figure out how competitive we would be for a new page uh, if we built it targeting that keyword. Um, as a keyword I'm just going to make the most obvious choice to start off with. I'm going to do yoga for seniors. And um, finally, with the URL, what we need to do here is give Canary Inc. a representative URL, something that is similar to the page that we're going to build, because Canary Inc. is going to take that page and then make some estimates, uh, basically pretend that page is targeting this specific keyword, so it can show us how competitive that would be. So it wouldn't make any sense for us to use the home page here, because we're not going to be changing the home page to target this keyword we are going to be making a new roundup. So what we want to do here is, is grab a couple of these roundup URLs. Uh, so maybe we'll do the weight loss page. And we'll grab uh, new yoga DVDs. Okay, and I like to use uh, two, three, four, uh, several different URLs there because that kind of gives you a range. You can choose a very successful page as a best case scenario and a sort of weakish page as a worst case scenario and then you get a range of scores for that. Now I've got everything together I'm just going to click Can I Rank? And our report request is successful. She's going to go out there and collect the data now. We pick up about 200 data points for every URL, and all it's about 4,000 different data points. So um, that takes about one minute. And um, you can see the data pulling in there as uh, she goes along. So I'm going to stop the video for a minute, and we're going to come back as soon as that report is in. Thanks. OK, we're back. Our first report is ready here. Uh, we have a 75% chance of ranking for this keyword. So that's a pretty decent score. And it looks like for both URLs, it's pretty much the same, 75 or 76%. Uh, you could be a strong contender if you're willing to work for it, is what Ken Eric thinks here. So um, we have a chance of ranking for this, but it would take some work. Um, as for the value of the keyword, it's a it's a pretty decent keyword for a website like this, about 1,600 monthly searches. If we had to buy the equivalent via Google AdWords, it would cost us about $500 a month. So this is definitely worth putting a little bit of effort into. And we'll take a look at how we compare to the competition here. Right away we can see that our main issue is going to be website strength. We're only at 19. Most of these guys are much higher. We've got a 90, 74, 71, 81, and so on. There is one site with a lower website strength that's ranking, uh, but uh, these guys, they're, they're ranking with their homepage. They've got a, a very good website relevancy. Uh, we're only putting one page towards this, so we may not be able to compete well with these guys uh, without making some improvements. So. First glance, I would say we've got a decent chance and it's a valuable keyword, but uh, we're lazy. This is just a side project, so we want to find something even easier. So we're going to click on the Too Hard button. And Ken Rank is going to give us some keyword ideas. Now, uh, these aren't analyzed in detail for their difficulty uh, and the way that the past report was, but they're sort of a general difficulty level here. And we're going to pick out a few of those and then analyze them in more detail. We can do that right here if we want. But in this case, we want to uh, look at several different uh, keywords. So we're just going to copy them back. Chair Yoga for Seniors looks interesting. Lots of searches for that. So we'll drop that in here. Uh, yoga for Elderly. 
Sure, why not? Um, all sorts of things. Yoga for seniors, DVD, yoga for older adults, yoga for old people. Well, we'll go for yoga for seniors, DVD. And I'm also going to put in yoga DVDs for seniors. Okay, and then again, we have a new content report type. We have the same URLs, and I'm just going to click Can I Rank? Okay, we're back. You can see that the Analyze button has been replaced by the ranking probability for the keywords that we looked at here. So now we can go straight across and compare the keyword value to how difficult the keyword would be for our specific website to rank. A uh, couple surprises here. I mean, we saw that uh, yoga for elderly actually more challenging than yoga for seniors, even though it's searched much less often. Some of the other ones, chair yoga for seniors and yoga for seniors or DVD, those are looking a little more promising. Uh, let's take a look at why this might be. Uh, we scroll down here to uh, the keyword value. Uh, again, I mean, this is worth a quarter what yoga for seniors is. So there's really no reason, commercially at least, why this keyword should be much more competitive. But when we take a look at the competitive analysis table, there's some pretty, pretty solid sites in here. Some 80s, 70s, 90s, Huffington Post, About.com, Yoga Journal. Um, these guys are not going to be easy to compete with. There's even um, some really high external relevancy scores here. That means these guys have really good links. You can take a look at some of those great keywords in there. And... Um, most of the other scores they're looking pretty good as well like uh, here's some nice website relevant links there decent amount of page strength 300 links going just to that page so that's not what we're going to want to compete against we're going to want to go back and find one of those easier options so if we look at the reports that we analyzed uh, our highest score is yoga dvds for seniors though uh, it's pretty similar with that in Yoga for Seniors DVD. Let's take a look. 95%, 97%, you should be able to rank without even trying. That's what we like to see. And when we scroll down, we can see that there are actually four different sites with uh, website strength the same or even less than ours. So that's already a great sign right there because website strength is, is probably the most difficult thing to improve. We also can see that a lot of these guys have really low external relevancy scores. So it means they don't have very good links on there. This one, uh, just one relatively link, uh, weak uh, link there. And uh, yeah, overall, that should be something that we'll have uh, no problem uh, competing for. Just need to build a page and make sure we do a good job targeting it, like uh, Ken Arank is showing here with a high page relevancy score. We build uh, links, internal links are fine, just like we've done to the other pages. And um, based upon our page strength and our website strength, we should be able to compete for this keyword. So that is how to choose a keyword for a new page that you're building. It's my first video, so any feedback that you guys have, questions or suggestions, then please leave a comment. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.